Joining me now is the campaign manager for Hillary Clinton, Robbie Mook. Mr. Mook, welcome to Meet the Press, sir. Hi, Chuck. Thanks. What kind of concern should voters have if the DNC, uh, and by extension, the Clinton campaign, can't protect data? Well, uh, Chuck, uh, come on, try getting it out. I think what's very disturbing about this entire situation is first that there's a foreign power uh, aggressively uh, breaking into data systems. Uh, there are a number of experts that are asserting this. I think we need to get to the bottom of these facts, but that, that is what experts are telling us. Experts have said that it is the Russians that in fact went in and took these emails. And, and then if, if- Come on, uh, try getting it out. If they are the ones who took them, we have to infer that they are the ones then, then releasing them. You just heard the director of national intelligence on this issue about Russia. He says you can't get there yet definitively and also said there's a lot of hyperventilating in his words about this attack. What evidence is there that the Russians were behind this in terms of the hacking or in terms of the timing by WikiLeaks? Well, I, I, we need to let the experts speak on this. Professor Cohen, does Vladimir Putin indeed have a dog in our U.S. fight? Vladimir Putin wants to end the new Cold War, and so do I. The hand of the Kremlin has been at work in this campaign for some time. It's clear that they are supporting Donald Trump. The director of national intelligence on this issue about Russia, he says you can't get there yet. It's been reported on in the press uh, that, the, that the hackers that got into the DNC are very likely to be uh, working in coordination uh, with Russia. And again, I, I think it's, if the Russians in fact had these emails, again, I don't think it's very coincidental that they're being released at this time to, to, to try getting it out, to create maximum damage uh, on Hillary Clinton and to help Donald Trump. But then we saw the other day that Donald Trump uh, made comments actually encouraging more of this uh, behavior, more espionage. <laughs> What do I have to get involved with Putin for? I have nothing to do with Putin. I've never spoken to him. I don't know anything about him other than he will respect me. He doesn't respect our president. But it would be interesting to see. I, I will tell you this. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I find it very frightening that any presidential campaign mm -hmm. for any reason is encouraging uh, this kind of behavior. I don't think Russia and China believe they are paying any price at all, nothing at all, for standing up on behalf of the Assad regime. Russia and China will pay a price. That's not becoming of someone who's trying to become our commander in chief and president of the United States. Arr, 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 you know? But look. He is running to be president of the United States, the person in charge of all of our armed forces, the person in charge of our entire uh, national security apparatus. I think she was extremely careless. I think she was negligent. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? Espionage is never a laughing matter. Yes, we came. We saw, he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, oh, I'm sure it did. Right, right, but it's not okay for presidents to joke about espionage. Those messages disappear all by themselves. And, and that's disturbing. I know Bernie Sanders said that, um, quote, the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. <laughs> but there are a lot of people who are not. Well. <laughs> uh, include, including FBI officials. <laughs> Look, nothing, and I will underscore, nothing that I was sent um, or that I sent was marked classified. Secretary Clinton said there was nothing marked classified on her emails either sent or received. Was that true? That's not true. Secretary, Secretary Clinton said, said I did not email any classified material to anyone on my email. There is no classified material. Was that true? Now, there was classified material email. The hand of the Kremlin has been at work in this campaign for some time. It's clear that they are supporting Donald Trump. Uh, but we now need uh, Donald Trump to explain to us the extent to which the hand of the Kremlin is at the core of his own campaign. The Clinton Foundation was accepting donations from Russia's own Silicon Valley while the U.S. was attempting to reset relations with Russia. Part of Hillary's reset, where she used that silly red button. We want to reset our relationship. 
uh, with the Russian foreign minister, was creating this, this thing called Skolkovo. Skolkovo was a Russian version of Silicon Valley just outside of Moscow. She encouraged U.S. companies to donate to Skolkovo. Uh, Cisco, for one, gave a billion dollars. Uh, but this is at the same time she was getting, the Clinton Foundation was getting money from Russians involved in Skolkovo, right? Uh, and there are real questions being raised about whether Donald Trump himself is just uh, a puppet for the Kremlin in this race. You're saying Donald Trump is a puppet for the Kremlin? Well, real questions are being raised about that. We're in a new and more dangerous Cold War with Russia. We're approaching a Cuban missile crisis nuclear confrontation with Russia both along Russia's borders and possibly over Syria. Then along comes unexpectedly Donald Trump, who says something that suggests he wants to end the new Cold War, cooperate with Russia in various places, what we used to call detente. And now, astonishingly, the media is full of what only can be called Neil McCarthyite charges that he's a Russian agent, that he's a Manchurian candidate, that he's Putin's client. Well, this isn't my assertion. The hand of the Kremlin has been at work in this campaign for some time. So the real danger is what's being done to our own political process. Now, Robbie Muck, I got to leave it there. Joining us from the uh, Clinton campaign headquarters there in Brooklyn. Robbie, thanks for getting up early. I appreciate it. Thanks so much.